you're always going to have problems lifting a body in one piece. Apparently, the best thing to do is cut up a corpse into six pieces and pile it all together. Then I hear the best thing to do is feed them to pigs. You've got to starve the pigs for a few days. You've got to shave the heads of your victims and pull the teeth out for the sake of the piggish digestion. You could do this afterwards, of course, but you don't want to go sieving through pig shit now, do you? You need at least 16 pigs to finish the job in one setting, so be wary of any man who keeps a pig farm. They will go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about eight minutes. That means that a single pig can consume two pounds of uncooked flesh every minute. Hence the expression, as greedy as a pig. G'day people, what do we have here today, eh? That is one of the two speed cameras, generally what they do here. Just so you know, Generally what these guys like to do is they have this marked speed camera, GGP 956 that they park around occasionally, but they also have the other ones, um, ETL 812, ETL 813, ETL 814, just a few of them. Um, what they'll generally do is they will park um, the Mufti car first, um, couple of days prior and then they'll go ahead and stick this one so when they send out the speed tickets you can remember especially if you're a general commuter daily you can remember seeing a speed camera that week but you can't remember exactly what day it was so you've got the benefit of the doubt of believing that the um, that it was that one you saw that clipped you when in actual fact nine times out of ten it's a mufti one that's got you out of all of the speed cameras that I've seen, um, honestly, that is the only marked speed camera I've noticed. GGQ956 is the only one that I've ever seen parked anywhere. All the rest have been mufties. So, you let me know. Do you think you're getting good, you know, enough warning? Yeah, granted, there's speed signs everywhere. But these fuckers have a tendency to park halfway down steep hills or at the bottoms of rises so that people coming one way, if they just if they don't have their foot on their brake keeping an eye on it, you can easily coast over 60 in a 50k area going down an incline. And that's all they need. 30 bucks, thanks very much. 59k's, 30 bucks, 60 bucks, 60k's, 90 bucks, 61k's, all of these things I can confirm because I I've had one, the mother-in-law's had one, and the dairy owner had one, so that's how I know those three costs, you know. None of the stuff I say is without foundation. I always make sure I know my facts before I go and put it out there. So, um, but again, if I'm factually incorrect in any way, at any time, anyone is welcome to let me know, based with some extra fact to show me their, you know, their, their point of view and I will happily correct myself if I'm an error I'm more than happy to be corrected um, you know I'm not that close minded to just think what I think that's that you know you've always got to be open to new interpretations otherwise you just don't want to go there anyway guys that's this prick for the day I've got to go and uh, look after other things now bye Camera there. Okay, and 
or a date check people it is 3.33 on the 21st of July 2016 and we're on Teatatu Road just uh, southeast of Countdown Teatatu Roundabout and um, Edmonton Road see you later guys be safe out there eh don't accept nothing without questioning it. Bye. Now fuck off.